In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up an IP address on your IV3 and how to get connected with the software, which is IV3 Navigator. But before we jump into the software, there are a few changes on the PC that we need to check or verify. The first one is going to be your Windows Defender firewall. To check your firewall settings, go ahead and open up your control panel and then go to Windows Defender firewall. From here, click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. And now you'll see a list of applications. Scroll down until you see IV3 Navigator or where it should be listed. As you can see, in my case, it is not currently listed in my programs, so I need to add it in. First thing we're going to do is hit this change settings button, which will allow me to make changes here. Um, if you do not have access to change your settings, this is where you would need to get your IT department involved as allowing it through the firewall is a necessary step to get connected. So I'm going to click allow another app and I need to browse for where my IV3 navigator is installed. If you're not sure where it is, an easy way is you can Go to the shortcut that is on your desktop, just right click and hit open file location. This will tell you exactly where the software is installed and you want to make sure it's the application. So I'm going to right click and copy this path. And then I'm going to open my control panel again, hit browse and I can paste this path to search for where it is installed. So I'm going to select this application, go ahead and hit open, and then add. So now you can see IV3 Navigator is in my list, but only the domain box is checked. So I need to go ahead and check private and public as well. Um, it's important to note that all three boxes must be checked for every instance of IV3 Navigator. We also have a PDF document called our IV3 Navigator Connection Guide, which has these steps detailed out in images. So feel free to download that if you want a printed resource as well. The second thing we need to check is your static IP on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the control panel, go to the Network and Sharing Center, and from here, we want to click Change Adapter Settings. So I'm going to be using my Ethernet adapter to connect to the IV3. So right click on Ethernet and hit Properties. Go ahead to Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4, and hit Properties. And here's where you can set your static IP address. If you are on obtain an IP address automatically, you will need to change it to use the following IP address. And from here, you can type in an IP address that is on the same network that you want to put the IV3 on. So in my example, I'm just going to set my static IP to 172.19.102.254. And then I'm going to set the subnet mask to 255, 255, 255, 0. After this, I'm just going to hit OK and close out of here. And at this point, I'm going to open up IV3 Navigator and hit Connect. So from here, you want to make sure you have the correct uh, network adapter selected, which is the Ethernet connection and you can see the static IP address that I just set. And from here, you can leave the IP address. This is of the sensor. And because my current sensor does not have an IP address, I'm going to keep this empty and just hit the search sensor button. It will take a couple of seconds. But now it has found my sensor. And because this is a brand new setup, you can see the IP address is not yet set, along with subnet mask. 
in order to assign an IP address, all I have to do is hit connect. It will say perform sensor network setting and connection and I'll hit OK. Now it will ask if I wish to carry out automatic sensor network configuration, which would just give the IV3 an IP address based off of my PC settings. So if you don't really care what the IP address is, you can go ahead and select yes. If you have a very specific IP address that you want to give the IV3, go ahead and hit no. And then here it will allow you to type in the IP address that you want to give the IV3. So in my example, I'll give it 172.19. 102.10 and I'll put the same subnet mask as my PC and then I can simply hit connect. So now I am connected to my sensor. I could go ahead and start programming but at this point my IV3 has an IP address so if I were to, let's say, disconnect from my sensor. So now I'm back to the home screen of the software. If I go ahead and hit connect, it will remember the IP address that you last connected to. And instead of hitting the search sensor button, I can now just type in the IP address and hit this connect button. And here you should be all set. That is how you set the IP address of the IV3. If you are having any issues or additional questions, please give our tech team a call at 888-KIANCE, option 2 for tech support. Thanks. Have a great day.